joined by the manager of SC United of Manchester, Carl Martinson. Carl, quite a couple, well, a couple of controversial moments today. First of all, uh, what, would, what did you make of, of our goal? That was a good goal. Any, any suspicion of offside? Um, no. Well, I, I don't know. It's, it's one of them where it might have been tight, but um, you know, I'm miles away from it, so I couldn't really say. How different was the the pace in the second half to uh, the pace in the first for you? I thought we, I thought in both halves we started absolutely fantastically well. Um, you know, and it was just a, a case of taking our taking our chances. To be honest, I thought. Ah, but final ball delivery wise in, in the first half I thought I was down a little bit um, you know um, Kane being a young lad being in the situations that he'd been in he did great to get there maybe as he grows that, that little bit older you know like he'll start finishing them off I thought he worked really hard and thought he did really well Was it quite a setback to have uh, Tony Stewart Rudd and Adam Carden for injury? Of course yeah of course but um, that shows the, the, the spirit that the lads have, have brought themselves together after Tuesday night and, um, and really kicked on I was delighted with them today after Rory got his goal we had uh, quite a bit of momentum uh, in yeah. his favour yeah. uh, were you disappointed not to grab a second yeah definitely definitely you know that, I think that would have killed the game I think they would um, do it hanging on it at, at, at the time you know and then um, obviously the referees got them back in it with, with an appalling decision. And, and in that respect, the second controversial moment was it a foul on Sam? Definitely, definitely. No two ways about it. Sam's got both hands on the ball. He, he's coming out to collect it, and the kid's running, and it's a collision. But Sam's got both hands on the ball, and the kid's not touched the ball. You know, so how is that not a foul? And then uh, in the final stages, uh, Sam really saved our bacon, really. Didn't yeah, it? yeah. Well, that goes to show, you know, if you if you don't take your chances, I said to him, you know, Bradford were always going to have a chance at some point, and. Um, you know, in, in the last minute there, Sam, like you say, he saved our bacon. But credit to their keeper as well, because Kane's gone down the other end and um, he's made a smart save off, off Kane. Overall, how does this performance compare with the performance in midweek? I said I wanted 100% improvement. I think I've got it, from, especially from um, from Saturday. And I think now we, we just need to kick on. Start, you know, hopefully that will um, add to the belief within, within the players we're going to go um, for something to eat now as a group. and. Um, you know, that hopefully that'll kick us, kick us on and, and get us ready for Wednesday. That'll be a Wednesday night replay at Gig Lane. Um, uh, how uh, important is it to get that continue, continuity and have you know Wednesday, Tuesday, well, Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday? It's, it's paramount to us doing well in this league. You know, any team that wants to go and win leagues um, has got to have the consistency. I know this is a cup game, but every game's the same. You're looking for the consistency factor. And you're optimistic for, for Wednesday? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think um, if we go out and perform like we have done today, um, hopefully our finishing will be a little bit better. We'll have our home crowd behind us. Not that, you know, <laughs> it always seems to always be a home crowd. Um, you know, I've got great faith in the last to carry the job through. Excellent. Well done today, Carl. Cheers. And uh, best of luck for Wednesday.